One of the most complicated things for a machine to do is to have a human stick their hand into the field view of a camera and accurately understand. You have to understand where the machine has to understand where the hand is located, where it's rotated. It may have different colors. It may have different uh, uh, gestures. You could have movement. It's a very difficult process to do. So to be able to describe what i.mx can do with gesture recognition, we put this in the form of a combat game called Rock, Paper, Scissors between multiplayers. So this is the standard Rock, Paper, Scissors game, but it's health-based. So basically, I'm trying to beat him into submission through games, and so far he's a uh, one to four. Machine's uh, actually winning right now. Now what, if you turn your goggles and look at, the, uh, look at the display, you can see that he's doing different gestures. He did scissors, the machine did, uh, did uh, paper, and he won. So the machine detected that. The point behind this is, is that this can be gestures that are working inside of your car, inside of your home, walking up to um, a music player and, and skipping a song, uh, looking at an object and gesturing to it and grabbing it and having it order new equipment for that particular one that shows up on your door the next day. This is not just about simple interaction with machines. This is interacting with all types of devices as long as they have i.mx behind it to do the processing. And as a competitive guy myself, what I'd like to be able to do is actually get in on the action. So we'll show the other part that we can do multiplayer. So I've indicated to the machine that I want to play by sticking my thumb out. Now he's got a five to six, so he's, uh, the machine's still beating him, IMX is still beating him. So we're gonna do this against each other. Now I'm a marketer, Rafael's a, an actual engineer who writes code like this, so we'll see who's better. <laughs> so you can see that my thumb is there, it sees me as a second player, and there we go. Oh, I got beaten. Well, as it just shows, engineers are usually better than market, except when they speak.